Hey guys, it's Rahul Josh again, always curious. Today we're going to talk about mind uploading, mind downloading, taking a backup of your brain, taking a copy of all the memories that ever since you were born till today, storing into a computer, into a cloud, and when you need it, you can log on to it and you can review what happened at what date. And if you also like, you can download those files and come back to another revision. Isn't it the great? Well, that's no longer a science fiction movie. It's happening to a reality. In the next three to five years, it will be totally possible to upload your brain, to upload everything that you have stored into your brain, take a copy of it, and upload into a server and, and save it for X amount of number. You may have to pay for the storage and other costs, but it is possible. There are a lot of companies that has been doing research on mind uploading and the data downloading and putting it back and reverting that version. So what happens when you're no longer here? The data that you uploaded, it's already there. Does that mean that I can download the copy of the data into a hard drive or another computer and the computer is artificial intelligence powered computer then does that become me? Do I become a computer or do I become a smartphone after I'm no longer here? And imagine if we can just scale that, then everyone, once this body is gone, then we will be a smartphone, we will be a computer. If not, we will be a server in the cloud that our family and friends will be still able to talk to us that we may or may not be able to walk because we are not nowhere near to do the complete body transformation. But as long as we have the snapshot of my whole brain, it has not just a memory, but also the type of application, the type of intelligence, in other means the type of personality, the type of decision making style, the type of everything that what I do. And also, you know, if we can have the exact same voice replicated so that if someone asks a question from the beneficial AI power methodology that can reference the data and nearly likely in our own tone we should be able to get a reply back. Isn't that cool? So that's going to happen pretty soon. There are a lot of companies that have been doing so much research that we cannot even believe that there are technologies available that if you're thinking about something, thinking about, you know, they can in a live fashion produce an image and then they can show you that this is what you're thinking about. And these things are getting mature every single day. And I really want you to understand the mind uploading technology is going to be the biggest disruptive technology in the next 10 to 20 years. That even if our bodies are no longer here, we need to have is some sort of presence in the earth and we should be able to live forever inside that smartphone, inside that computer, inside that server, in the data center or wherever we are. And that's the beauty is that we are still going over that there were some experiments done on the animals and we have seen enough success that a lot of people are doing that. And then the data, the snapshot can live there until next 50 to 100 years we can find a complete body transformation. There are techniques actually available, it's called CRISPR, which is a DNA editing technology in which in the future you can make the human bodies the way you like and when we are at the point where that technology is mature, we can transfer all of the data over there and then here you go, you're gonna be another person living right after that. But imagine if you were taking these copies once a month daily or every weekly, you have so many copies. Which one of that is actually you? Because if there are 100 copies, then you know you can have all of them into 100 times of you, right? Because if you have 100 or 1000 copy, how many of them are going to be you? And that's the question, is that today I'm the only one, I'm the source of myself and then everything that I write, if I paint, if I'm storing something, it is basically a byproduct from me. It's not me, but it will change eventually as the definition of humanity will change as we keep emerging ourselves 
with all the wearables, all the technologies that has been embedding is that more going towards transhumanism or artificial intelligence 2.0 in which we are going to start basically getting more closer to this reality in which hopefully we should be able to have our brain live longer than our body lives and that's so much fascinating. There are also some institutes and some companies and organizations that are storing the physical entire body or just a head once you are no longer hoping that when the technology will arrive they will basically put this head back into someone's body into a brand new body and that person will be alive and that's that's so amazing that you know that we are at the point where people are buying into that concept and they are look and there are enough people that have stored their body into a freezing temperature or at least head hoping that when the technology will arrive they will be able to get the family back and they will have another life on the earth so i really want you to take a look please take a look on the internet what is mind uploading mind downloading technology some of the other benefits and what is this dns editing also the stem cell generation with the stem cell you know there are a lot of things that you can regenerate with the bionics you can basically have your body as a pop up and pop out it's all modular you know if i don't like this these hands i can basically buy new hands and plug in new hands and i should be able to good to go if i don't if i'm not tall i can buy probably longer legs and I'll probably good to go. Our body will basically become module, just like our clothes, right? Is that over the time, and when I'm saying it's not just hypothetical, pretty soon in the next three, five, 10 years, these things are gonna be pretty normal that we should be able to take advantage of it when we need it. Obviously from resistance that we get, the protocol that we have to follow for all the good reasons, it may not happen that soon, but in technical terms, these experiments are happening where you should be able to upload your mind. So now imagine if Albert Einstein was around today, today we will, we will be able to talk to him and he was still able to guide us with all these innovations, inventions and discoveries. Steve Jobs was around maybe living in that virtual world and you know he was still guiding the next smartphone out there or next technology out there. And it's so fascinating that and the pace that we are doing all these discoveries, research, and breakthrough inventions, it's, it's going to change the way we live, and it's, it's going to happen. And, uh, you know, we definitely, you know, looking forward, there will be obviously resistance, and there are some things that we don't like, where we'll need protocols and other things to make it controlled, so everyone doesn't have access to it but it's happening today. The mind uploading is one of the really fascinating sessions. And when you combine mind uploading with the DNA editing, stem cell, with you can regenerate the organ bionics, it's gonna completely change the way the human body is evolving. It's gonna help ourselves live longer than 100 years. It's not gonna be mortality or still, I don't wanna call it life extension. Again, this is my life that I deserve. And then as long as I preserve, as long as I take care of, I. I, I take care of this body and brain. This is the same life, there is no extension. So please think about that. Take a look at mind uploading technology. I'm really passionate to know more about it and how we can basically help a lot of children, a lot of people suffering with Alzheimer's, a lot of children with autism, ADHD, SPD, and many other diseases that we still don't have true accurate cure and see how these techniques can help them. One of the things is brain stimulation. And when you combine all these together, you start to realize what is gonna empower us. And someone will just really have to work together, put all this concept together and see what solutions we can make it out to have a better human, the life that we deserve. And that's where the idea of Always Cures platform is basically to combine all these research and have us interact, collaborate together and see what we can gain from other researchers. So a lot of, uh, you know, researches are happening on fraction of silos in different parts of the world. And my, uh, you know, I'm hoping that with this platform, we can collaborate together at the periodic level and see if we can expedite the process of all these breakthrough invention because if we're gonna be the best humankind ever, it will be easy to find 
a lot more answers that they were looking for. And we are we're gonna be really efficient. If we can come to this point and differentiate ourselves from animals in these years, which is still a very small time frame, then I'm pretty sure we can take a step up and we can do, we can conquer a lot more than this. So in the next few years and next generation, either it's gonna be you step up or you step aside because you can't stop the evolution, you can't stop the innovation. It's all gonna be going back to making better humans, trying to provide more value, more quality of time that we have on the earth and also maximize our potential to make better humans and live better life and let others live better life and do a lot more and look for the answers that we are not uh, we don't we're, we're not capable of finding and also see what are other opportunities in other planets to do the business imagine if we are powerful enough we don't we no longer have to worry about issues around the earth that much now we can think about possibilities of doing business with people human or whatever you want to call them living on the other solar system other planets and we're going to have a technology that will basically go there and we can reach there, communicate back and forth. We don't have to wait millions of years and we're going to have these powerful network of social media, internet and you name it, all these different planets to give us the connectivity to have the data from one planet to another to one solar system to another and we should be truly able to one day the day will arrive hopefully that a near real-time communication will be possible into not only just another planet but into another solar system and that's what we need is that we really need to become intelligent the same evolution that we're growing we need to make ourselves powerful so we can look something beyond outside of the earth whether it's a business success power fame everything that you want to do you can look it up at the scale of milky way galaxy at the scale of planetary at the scale of universe even though beyond Big Bang, right? And so that's what I really want you to focus that this has some pretty, this whole health science that emerging, but the benefit of this health science is so much that it's gonna open the door of doing all these business outside of the earth. And when you look at the all the benefit and when you accumulate all together, yeah, definitely, you know, you should be supporting this concept. I'm not saying support the wrong person using this technology but obviously just as general as an organization you should support this to make that these things happen at the faster rate while we are here otherwise it's going to happen but too bad that we're not going to be here and we missed that curve so think about it think about mind uploading think about the dna editing think about stem cell regeneration, bionics, and how are we going to conquer all this and how all these solutions going to come together and make a better human being, a better life, a better place for Earth to live and make the business opportunities outside of the planet possible for us, the communication, transportation, the data network outside of the so solar system and see how that look like. Let me know what you think about this video and your thoughts. And if you have any other things that are happening in the similar range, please feel free to reach out, comment below, and we'll take it from there. But take it easy. Thanks for watching.